All right. So let's start with the first card. So the first card deals with just basically the face that you present to the world and how others perceive you, okay? I do have the Page of Swords in the reverse position, so um, there's a little bit of danger associated with it in that um, generally there's a sense in which, you know, you, you feel a certain way, but for some reason you can't really express what it is that you feel and there's an element of like blockages in communication between you and the people you're interacting with on all levels. So the page is basically also a messenger. And I do feel that some news that you're expecting has been stalled. And um, it's corroborated by the emperor in the reverse position here. So I do sense that by the end of this week, the communication channel will be open for you or at least until the end of this month. Starting the end of this week and towards the end of this month, a new portal of communication will be open for you in which, you know, these communication blockages will be lifted. At the same time, there's an element here in that, um, that is kind of like urging you to work on something in the uh, career or in the work environment. There's something that needs to be taken care of on the work end, and um, mainly because of it, I do feel blockages are coming through in terms of communication from other sectors in your life so that you can focus exclusively on this work, work situation. Something needs to get off the ground so that, um, so basically the focus is just mainly work oriented, but you're being kind of distracted by other sectors in your life and you might be, you might not be as diligent with the work situation, okay? Another way in this, which this could play out is, um, I do feel that you are keeping things close to your heart and you're being less communicative about, you know, your intentions, your wants and needs, mainly because you don't completely trust the people around you. And, you know, do whatever you got to do. Protect yourself first and foremost would be my advice. And it, it looks as if there's an element of mistrust or there's an element of, um, things not going your way, okay? For those of you who are dealing with like family members, they might be too nosy. They might be like very difficult to deal with just generally. So then you're you're just kind of keeping yourself self-protected and um, you're not as forthcoming with information. You're not great about, um, well, you're not feeling too great about entrusting them with, you know, just your opening yourself up in terms of communicating the things that you like, the things that you don't like, your intentions or your plans for the future. Because at this point, nothing is set in stone and things are still in the air. So you're waiting for the dust to settle. Okay, there we go. You're waiting for your dust to settle, mainly because um, in your relationship sector, we do have the tower in the reverse position. And, um, you know, it's like the breakdown in the tower. So you're kind of like dealing with the aftermath, reeling from the aftermath, and you don't really know what to think and what to say at this point. And um, it's going to take some time. I do feel by the end of this week, a lot of answers will be in the pictures for you. So then you can deal with the situation. But let's go through the card one by one. Okay, so the next card is um, the fourth house, which deals with, you know, the home environment, the family, the physical structure of the home, and also your mother, and the things that you would need to find, to bring you back to that, um, you know, childhood state of bliss. So I have the emperor in the reverse position here, and um, for a lot of you, for a lot of um, Aries women especially, but it generally, you know, just Aries, um, you might be in a household in which the masculine power is kind of corroded. And what I mean by that is um, you might have had like a very... Um, so it can be two extremes. I do feel that with the emperor in the reverse position, the emperor is usually indicative of a male, a very strong masculine energy. It's being suppressed by the female in the, the household, which is traditionally the, the mother. So a lot of you have very, very strong, assertive... Um, possibly overbearing and domineering mothers. And um, there might be situations in which, you know, like conflict and um, tensions are coming to a head for this week. And um, I do feel that in, in the home situation, there's a lot of like um, 
there are just a lot of communication blockages between you and the family members that you're dealing with, mainly because, um, you know, you're a fire sign and you're very strong-willed, so there's a sense of, like, butting heads with somebody who is equally as stubborn and equally as strong. And um, I do feel that this is a situation in which you are encountering somebody that you've had multiple run-ins with, and you're trying to find a different approach, or rather, you're being more evasive because you know nothing good is going to come out of it. The other people might be itching for a fight, but you're just not up for it. And at the same time, you see the bigger picture, which is that, you know, no good can come out of it. So I don't really need to deal with them, okay? A lot of you might be dealing with like an air sign as well that um, you don't really see eye to eye with, okay? So an air sign is a Gemini. A Libra and Aquarius. So in terms of your relationship sector, um, this is work, romance, business, okay? So all kinds of, um, I guess, like different um, aspects of relationships. And I do feel with the tower in the reverse, or it's in the upright position, excuse me. It's in the upright position. So there's a little bit of a destabilizing energy. It can be good or, or bad, and I do feel that there's a new portal of communication, like I mentioned, that is coming into the works. If you are reeling from an aftermath of this, in which, you know, something very catastrophic happened that um, made you rethink the relationship that you're in or the work partnership that you're in, I do sense it's next to the wish card, so a lot of information are going to be flooding in this week in order for to help you make sense of it, okay? So you're going to understand that possibly if you were in a relationship with an air sign, that things were not going to work out. If you were in a relationship with somebody who's very, very stubborn, I do feel that that conflict is coming to a head. And you're going to have to defend yourself, okay? So you can't be um, evasive anymore. I don't feel that you were evasive because you were, like, um, trying to escape the fight. I don't feel that's the case. It's just you know that the other person is never going to agree with you no matter what you say. So you've decided to just, you know... Um, ignore them but they they keep pestering you and they keep coming back for more so this situation is going to be inev inevitable so try to defend yourself try to say the things that you need to no matter who it is i do feel there's an element of holding your tongue mainly because the other person is a family member and also because the other person is um it's somebody that you don't want to disrespect so there's an element of curbing your communication curbing your tongue or and then you know when when you suppress communication and when you feel like very upset things just get out of control so just um control your temper a little bit okay at the same time i would say say what you need to say in as few words as possible and leave it alone the other the other person is not going to come to, um is not going to understand where you're coming from in terms of the work situation in finances this is career and finances and uh, since we're looking at only a week, we are going to address this as just generally work and career. We have the wish card. So this is a very, very uh, favorable card. And um, what I'm getting from this card here is um, there's still a little bit of self-protection going on. She has all these birds circling around her. And, um, you know, she's keeping people at arm's length. She she looks very welcoming and she looks very um, happy and content, okay? This is also a wish card. So I do feel a lot of you are making great strides in your work situation, in your finances. So things are flowing and things are gelling in a very nice, uh, soothing way. However, um, I do feel that if you have been too chummy or too... Um, carefree with your communication with coworkers, bosses, and etc. You're taking a more self-protective type of um, approach to your work situation. You're still very friendly, very agreeable, and very nice to work with. And you know, you get things done as well. And you find emotional fulfillment in your work. However, you are drawing really clear boundaries with other people, which is a really good thing for you to do, Aries. Um, I feel like it's, it's appropriate. A lot of you who might have been job hunting in the past, 
and you know you're you're kind of like waiting around for that ideal work situation i do feel that it's coming like promotions advancing to the next level landing that perfect job i do feel it is going to be in the works for you there's a little bit of a delay because the emperor or you know the emperor is your card as well is in the reverse position so um one other thing i would say is um you might have heard word from supervisors that you know you're, you've landed a job don't celebrate prematurely i do feel that you know not to dampen your spirit or anything i do feel that there are um confusion in communication as well so just try to keep you know your cards covered and wait until the end of this week for them to solidify things and for them to give you an official invitation before you tell other people so try to be self protective i feel that it is good in general to maintain very clear boundaries on the work front okay so i hope you have a wonderful weekend and um, this is a really good card to get. So, you know, don't distress over anything that happened in the past. A new phase is coming through for you. So, you know, just enjoy yourself and um, take care of things on the work end, okay? I'll see you next week.